Hey guys, this is the final video for developing this shear envelope. We're now actually just going to draw the shear envelope. So we're dealing with a 10 meter span. Okay, so this goes from zero to 10 meters. So zero meters, and this is at 10 meters. All right, because once again, we're just looking at the shear envelope for this middle beam. Uh, and that is the shear envelope corresponding to this bending moment envelope in the middle. So the first thing we're going to do is just draw in the shear and the shear caused by 1.2 g plus 1.5 q. So in the previous video we saw at x equals zero it's minus 660, and at x equals 10 it's 660. So just roughly, we're going to draw in like this. So this is at x equals zero. It is minus 660 and 660 at x equals 10. So this is minus 660 and this is 660. And the shear equals zero at five meters. So right in the middle, around there, was when the shear equals zero. So all we're going to do is just connect these lines up. And we'll get our shear envelope. Okay, so that's the shear caused by the 1.2 G plus 1.5 Q load. Now, the G plus 0.3 Q plus earthquake one, we're gonna draw that in. So, at X equals zero, it's minus 238, and at X equals 10, it's 434, okay? So, minus 238 would roughly be, say, here. So, that's minus 238, and X equals 10 was 434, so, 434 would look something maybe like that. So 434, and the shear equals zero at 3.5 meters. So if this is 10 meters, connecting this up, we would say that that distance there is roughly 3.5 meters, and we said that this distance was five meters before. Now, we've done the that case for the green, okay? So that was this line here. For the purple, it is just the inverse, okay? It's just the opposite. You can see you're going from a low to a high value for the green. For the purple, you're going from a high 